is I'm going to talk to you on uh, one of the most common GI condition called GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Food that we eat moves down from the oral cavity that is from the mouth into the stomach via food pipe that is esophagus. Once food reaches stomach, it remains there for almost 4 hours. During this period, it gets food gets nicely churned, gets mixed with acid, enzyme called pepsin, and to some extent with bile, before it is released into the upper portion of small intestine called urinum. Now, though food remains in the stomach for almost 4 hours, nothing is coming up back into the esophagus because this regurgitation of food is prevented by a circular ring of muscles called lower esophageal sphincter or LES. Normally this LES remains tightly closed and it opens very briefly when we swallow to allow the food bolus to enter from esophagus into the stomach. Now due to any reason, when this LES becomes incompetent, it remains loose or gets laxed and doesn't close completely. It permits the gastric content, particularly the fluid containing acid and to some extent bile, to regurgitate back up into the esophagus. And this is what we call it as a reflux. Now this fluid which comes back into the esophagus, it irritates the lining of food pipe and patient complains of burning in the chest, what we call it as a heart burn. At times, this regurgitation or reflux can mimic like cardiac pain or a chest pain which mimics like heart attack. Not only that, when this reflux ascends higher up than upper esophageal sphincter, and reaches the back of the throat or back of the nasal cavity, patient complains of dry cough, wheezing particularly at night, hoarseness of voice, there may be earache, nasal discharge, post nasal drip, and at times dental caries and cavities. Now when patient has just mentioned symptoms 